Welcome to the course. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com and I'll be your instructor today. In this course, I'm going to teach you how to push a Django app up into the internet, up into the cloud for professional web hosting. We're going to be using Heroku for that, which is a web hosting service that's been around forever. Uh, they were primarily a Ruby on Rails web hosting service, but they quickly morphed into Django, uh, PHP, WordPress, you name it, Node, I think they do. Uh, they pretty much do it all these days and very popular and really cool because they offer a free tier. So we're going to be using the free tier in this course. Allows us to get our code up, you know, up there and hosted and live so that people can see the website, use the website, do all the things. Uh, but then allows us to scale up and pay if we need to over time. So, you know, you build an app and not many people go to it. So you don't want to have to pay lots and lots for web hosting when 10 people a day are coming to your website. As more people come to your website, you need more horsepower, right? So then you can easily scale up at Heroku. You just log into the website to your dashboard, click a couple buttons, and it scales automatically, which is really, really nice. So that's what we're going to be doing in this course. Now, we're also going to be building a, you know, for the app for this course, a, a, a kind of cool little address book app, I guess. Now, that's not what this course is about, right? I'm going to be building this, this app in this course, and you'll follow along and build your own, but the focus is pushing all this stuff up to Heroku. We're only building a, an address book app just so we have something to push up to Heroku, right? And it'll have a database because most apps have databases. So uh, you'll learn how to do database stuff on Heroku and it should be good. But if this is your first Django course, you may want to check out some of my earlier courses uh, for more of a deep dive into how Django works and how Python works. You know, like I said, I'm going to be building this address book app, but I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it and I'm not going to go into great detail. So I'll show you all the code. I'll talk about it and we'll walk through it, but it'll be very, very quick. Right, the point of this course is to learn how to push apps up into the cloud, not so much how to build apps, right? So, um, you know, if this is your first course and you're fine with that, and you want to just rock and roll and go with it, you'll probably be okay. If you can pick stuff up quickly, you'll be fine. Because like I said, I will explain things. Uh, it's just not going to be the focus of the course, right? So uh, keep that in mind. So uh, we're going to be downloading a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, all of it's free. I'm on a Windows computer. If you're on a Mac or a Linux, you should be able to follow along. I'll try and point out the differences because there are a few differences here and there. For instance, right away, we're going to be downloading the Git bash terminal for Windows. If you're on a Mac or a Linux, you don't need to download that at all because Mac and Linux come with the terminal already. So I'll try and point out those things as we come along, uh, as we go along, and uh, it should be good. So yeah, it should be a fun course. Uh, not particularly long, but uh, just a really important skill. I find that a lot of courses that teach Django kind of gloss over this part or ignore it completely. And uh, some of my, cor my courses are the same way. I just try to not talk about production hosting uh, because in those other courses, the goal is to teach you how to use Django, not necessarily how to, you know, run a website professionally, right? So they're two different things. And uh, it's sort of important, especially when you're just starting out, it's kind of hard to you know, learn both of those things right away. So um, that's why in this course, mainly we're just focusing on how to host your app in the cloud uh, once you've already built it. So uh, that's the course. It should be a lot of fun. Um, in the next video, we're going to start downloading and installing all the stuff we need. So it should be fun. And let's get started.